Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mary Burley, and I'm the Chief Educator at the Norman Rockwell Museum. And I'm here today with my friend Stephanie Plunkett, who is the Chief um, Curator and Deputy Director of the Norman Rockwell Museum. Hi, and everybody. <laughs> we're delighted to uh, talk with you today about two images that Norman Rockwell made in May and August of 1952. Uh, in May, he published the image day in the life of a boy and in august a day in the life of a girl came out and these images are um, extremely popular well-known images and they invite us to look at the journey of a whole day for a child and all of the different adventures that happen within that day and so one of the things that i'd like to, you to think about before we talk with stephanie about things to wonder and notice about is what is the balance for these kids, these children, around playtime, eating, uh, having some adventures, some reading, um, some mischief maybe, and outdoor activities. So interested if, if you think this is a good day or is there anything missing or what would you change? So Stephanie, when you look at these images, what do you notice and what do you wonder about? Well, I just love the fact that Rockwell has used a sequence, that means one thing happening right after the other, uh, to tell the story of two children's lives. And I'm wondering if you look closely at each child, a boy and a girl, what were they doing during the course of their day? Literally from the time that they went, they got up in the morning, to the time that they went to bed. And I'm wondering if the things that they did are similar in any way to the kinds of things that you do in a given day. Like for example, what is the young man having for breakfast? And what might you eat for breakfast? And do you have a lunchbox that looks anything like his or does yours look a little different? One thing that's really kind of fun about this picture is that these were real life children who lived in Norman Rockwell's town of Arlington, Vermont. And their names were Chuck Marsh and Mary Whalen. And they were two of his most favorite models. And I bet you can tell why if you look carefully at these pictures, they were extremely expressive. And I am wondering if you are expressive in all the things that you do in a given day. What Norman Rockwell had to think about was what are some very typical activities for children uh, that he could put into his picture that many people would be able to understand and appreciate. So if you look carefully, he chose eating and he chose playing and he even chose studying or writing. And I wonder if you can look and see what other kinds of activities he included. Uh, and it might be fun to think about how they relate to your day. Um, there are really some nice fun facts about this, these two pictures. And Mary, would you like to talk a little bit about that? I would, Stephanie. Um, one thing that's really fun is that Norman Rockwell lived in small towns throughout his adult life. And in Arlington, he was good friends with Chuck Morris's family. And in fact, Norman Rockwell's wife, Mary, was Chuck's babysitter when Chuck was little and Chuck's parents wanted to go holiday shopping. Uh, so that's, that's fun. And Mary Whalen has some distinct memories of modeling for this image that she shared with us. One is that to show swimming, she actually um, lay down on a board and made strokes in the air so that Rockwell could figure out how to paint those. Also, Mary's mother held her braids straight out in the air for photography to show and emulate the idea that Mary was in a hurry and her braids were flying out behind her. So we thought that would be interesting for you to know. In terms of things to do, we would like you to invite, we would like to invite you to think about all the things that you do in a day. What would a sequence of events look like for you if you drew them out? Uh, maybe you could try that. 
And then we also thought it would be interesting to compare your day to the day of these, um, both of these uh, young people from 1952. And what's the same and what's different? And if you could change one thing about your day, so maybe, maybe you want to add a few activities, what would they be and where would you put them in your current schedule? So we hope you enjoyed looking at a day in the life of a girl and a day in the life of a boy. And we hope they inspire you to think about your day. And we hope to see you again soon.